Good morning out there, America. Stay black in America. I'm going to attempt to walk from Prince George's Plaza, PG County, to my place of business in Washington, D.C. The thing tells me it's uh, 3.6 miles. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk this thing here. My wife seems to be fired up this morning, dropping off at the dentist's office, and she wanted to argue about something. She wanted to pick supplies at the, the market or something. Just, just a whole bunch of crap. Dropped me off at the office, and ran in there, tried to give me the keys back. I told her, take the keys yourself. You need to get back to where you got to get back to the store. Don't worry about it. We get an order. We recall the order back again. Uh, none of that panned out. She ended up there getting the order in there late, telling me she's busy. Hanging up on me and carrying on. So uh, I could okay, take this Metro, put like 20 bucks in there, whatever. And actually, I haven't rolled the Metro, I don't know. I don't know, a decade or probably so ago, maybe even longer. Never really found much use for it because I haven't had a car all this time. So basically, I'm going to walk back from this mall. So now I'm coming in front of the uh, Outback Steakhouse here. And that big sign there that says Prince George's Mall. Come up from that. So I'm gonna take this this, this 3.3.6 mile walk and try to go and get there to the store. Open up. I'm not gonna worry about complaining, arguing. Go you know, get my get my little anger steam off. While I'm walking. Do that basic. So you can clearly see the angle of the mall over here. The stores and shopping areas. So I said that thing gonna, gonna work. I guess while I'm, while I'm filming and doing this, I'm going to also look both ways make sure I don't get ran over by nobody. I hate to get turned to, to roadkill. Don't want that to happen. So, I'm going to do this walk. Take this thing. No, it's my wife's little attitude. I don't know what she's thinking about, really. Ain't no big deal, really. I, mean, I got a pocket, a pocket full of money. You know, probably got like, I don't know what I got. 200 from that, 250. Probably got like $400 on me, so I'm just gonna take the walk. It never, never, never hurt to burn calories up anyway, so I'm gonna take this little walk, this 3.6 mile an hour walk home, and do it that way. Yeah, that's where it's gonna work out. Yeah, Prince George's Mall I used to be. I used to come to this mall when I was a, when I was a teenager in my 20s. It's one of the few malls I think around the country that's just gotten better. A lot of malls have closed, but this Prince George's Plaza has just gotten better. You know, so that's a, that's a credit to whoever's running the place. This little olive garden walking by now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking, what is this? I'm on, uh, yeah. That's pretty much that, so, so far so good. So far my body feels pretty, pretty strong. I don't feel no, no knee pain, no, no ankle pain, or none of that crap like I did when I was playing sports. Getting those ligament pulls and cramps and fractured bones and all that nonsense, you know. Those days have long been since over. Shoot, long been since over. We've been age of 63 right now. I thank God for it. If I go back in time, we'd have made a different choice. <laughs> we'd have avoided some things. Matter of fact, avoided probably a lot of things, but that's life. You know, you live and learn. So here we are, this situation here. I'm not a disabled man, I'm a well bodied man. So I don't have to worry about somebody pushing me in a stroller, bed ridden. I'm just as strong and healthy I feel. As I probably always have been, so I don't know. We'll see how I feel when this 3.6 miles is over with. If I can still hold on to this phone, or will the phone be a, a passing thing. But here we are. Wife got upset, so I decided to walk home. My son, he's he's got a vehicle, of course he does. Uber and Lyft and delivers groceries and all types of things, making 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 ends meet. And uh, his phone is on, I think, 4%, so tell him don't waste his phone. It's a mercy. I think he's going to head to the, to the store, see what my wife is doing. But other than that, I'm just going to take this little walk, keep alternating hands. 
for, for six for 3.6 miles. How about that? Goodness gracious. I think it's probably along that because I haven't got to the end of this freaking mall yet. So it's gonna be quite a quite a journey. But what I'm gonna try and do, try to get them get done. I should have thought about well I don't know time, but I could have got me a selfie stick. Miller's L house. Another place they put it. I didn't, that's three of those businesses they got in this mall now, so that's making pretty good money here from Stroke Supply. A lot of development going on here. Looks like this is a true around the around the around the nation. A lot of development, so here we go from that area. So switching the phone from hand to hand. And leave the the entrance from where the mall is. So I think that even though I walked a little bit of the distance, I don't think my 3.6 miles is gonna start until I pass this entrance. This is Prince George's Mall. And then it's gonna pretty much start. So I don't know. Just go to do what I gotta do. Get to the distance, the location. Turn around this way. See that truest bank right there. Be a sun truck, it's nice true. It's been turning back around to the traffic again. Turn back around to some homes and traffic on that particular way. Yeah. That's what we got here. So, this is, this is the state of Maryland. I'm going to walk to the District of Columbia. So, we'll see how long that's going to take me. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Morning. Out uh, for a nice brisk walk. So let's see what this brisk walk is gonna take me to. Walking by the truest bank there. It's another bank. Bank of Minis. I thought I wanted to own a bank when I was a younger man. An older man, I wouldn't want to own a bank. I don't want to be. Right across the street all the time. Get out of this public traffic right here. Get out of this public traffic. I'm walking away where I gotta go. Again, this is the this is the state of Maryland, Prince George's County. One of the richest black counties part of the United States of America. You got a lot of development. These, uh, these things are sprouting up, everybody's trying to, you know, move in here, people grew up here, want to stay here, I guess, they're living in these apartments. I never thought apartments were a good investment, just paying somebody else uh, money to live and try to buy a residence of your own house, so I never thought it was a big, uh, good idea, but, you know, money changes everything, you don't have enough money to put down for a down payment, you don't have enough money to uh, buy a house, you know, that you sometimes government program to do so. So I'm turning around this traffic again around here. Yep. It's traffic. So I'm on my uh I'm on my walk. Well I see people do a lot of walking, I think myself like some people been walking all their life. I see these uh Jamaican people living by my store in DC, a man and a woman. I clear they probably been walking for 30 years man. Never even got a car, never think about a car. You actually save a lot of money in saying that cars are the second biggest investment in one's life other than homes. And see everybody buying no car and no homes, it should be stacked with money, but huh? I don't know. I don't know their personal funds. Yeah, I just know I like to buy a little beer every now and then and buy tons of water. And I still can't understand the way he speaks. He's been in America for 30 years. I can't understand his language still. It's a mystery to me. I don't know. But I've seen some... Uh, Jamaican people, when they locate to England, it seemed like they, they pick it up like it was pretty well. They top of the morning, man, I'm gonna have tea. But my God, are you Jamaican too? <laughs> but I guess Pamela Harris, father was Jamaican. She's vice president. And in this state here, Maryland has a, a Jamaican a guy who's a governor. Harris is Jamaican, you know, Jamaican. He's a governor, so I guess you can speak that, speak to somebody when you want to speak. Speak clearly in English when you want to be spoken, when you want to be understood. Because you're not going to win and speak in Jewish. So I guess it's just he don't have the, he don't have the, um, 
you know, he don't have to speak proper English to me. He can just mumble, say what he wants to say because uh, you know, that's what the world is. I don't care. But I'm sure he, after 30 years, he's learned a lot of English. And plus, the Jamaican pretty much English anyway. I think the, the Jamaican was colonized by colonized by Spain and colonized by England. So, you know, you probably can go both ways. Speak, speak whatever language you had to speak at the time you had to speak. That, that, that can pretty much go. But it's always been English. I don't think no, no language is kind of like a broken English. I'm across the street here. Across the main thoroughbred. Y'all get on across it. See what I spin, huh? Come on, bro. I walk this way because I always like walking. I always like walking against traffic, not with it. So, I ain't worried about it. I ain't gonna worry about it. Just do what I gotta do. It's silly stuff. Yep. I don't, do that. Da, 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 I don't like I seen I seen a I seen the nomads filming something in uh Dubai or wherever where were they standing over there? You know, and uh, they were walking in the streets and they were walking with the traffic coming behind them and I think that was so dangerous because if the traffic's coming behind you, you can't see uh can't see until it's too late. Somebody drunk driver or something. But I'm gonna walk here with the traffic. I'm gonna walk here with the traffic in front of me. So when they're flying by in front of me, I just uh, can see them. So maybe I have a second or two to react, impact, or jump on one of these barricades here and get stuck in those brushes. Somebody's drunk. I don't know what they're doing. I do that. But in the meantime, I'm looking at them. While I'm, while I'm walking, because it's more important. Anybody walking on highway or anything, make sure you walk toward the traffic and don't walk with the traffic behind you, because you can't see somebody maybe talking on the phone and veer off the lane and hit you. Somebody could be a knee baited, drunk, high, hit you, kill you. And uh, you'll just be gone, man. They'll probably get off on it. Slap on the hand, vehicular homicide. They'll still be going on. So, I'm just, I'm just rolling on the way. Hola, good morning. Something's going on the way filming. Stay black in America. Stay black in America. Don't be like a go black to Africa. Or all those people talking about going back to Africa. America has 52.5 million immigrants here. More than any other nation in the world. And uh, that's because they want to live the American dream, man. Yeah, a lot of Africans come here because in their country there's a dictatorship or tribal rule. India, of course, is, uh, you know, if you're born clean and tall, if you die clean and tall, and as you get out of there, it's a class, class system. China, of course, communism, Russia, communism, you know. Germany, you know, they say they got a lot of great inventions, but they still killed a lot of people in, in Africa. I know I watch the guy, you can know, I always say, like a German, like a German. He's a young African guy. He don't realize that Germans killed over 200 million. Not Trump sorry, not 200 million. Killed over 150 million Africans over there, you know, taking over control. They have a savage nature for killing. Then I guess they jump a, a few more 60 years and then kill a bunch of Jewish people. So they're definitely good as far as mechanics and making things and all that kind of stuff like that. But look, when they want to kill, that thirst is sure deep and strong. So, you know, they like the German. I hope he like stays on a job like German. And, Builds his house real nice and beautiful and stays precision or on point. You know, put a beautiful house there like a German. But don't become like a German and kill everybody. I don't want to do that. I myself wouldn't want to visit Germany or any other country. Never had the desire to. I know I had a guy that grew up around us. He was in, a, he was in a, you know, the armed service. I don't know which one. I don't know what Navy, Army, whatever, which one. But you know, he was stationed over in Germany. He used to like going to bars and stuff. He lost his mind. We thought maybe he would slip some kind of drugs while he was drinking his uh drinking at the bar, enjoying himself, being being like a jackman. So but he's uh like I said came back 
living in the woods. You know, he's like, mad. the only thing is mad is he seems to be all right. But uh, I, would, I wouldn't want to go the way along with him and turn my back to him. I think he's still borderline crazy myself. But uh, that's just him. I know it was the one who wanted to join the military. If anybody do it, I guess they got to because a lot of people come from, you know, better join the military to get involved in crime or drugs, you know, at least if a war, no major wars there, you might survive and live. Then you get that GI Bill, or you get that educational bill, where you get your, uh, you know, you get yourself a, you know, education or buy a home. I think that's a great trade-off, you know, you're just a paid warrior. You was only 1.2% of American society joined the military. During the Vietnam War, when they had that draft, you know, they just snatched you, they snatched you and took you in. Put you in the jungle. We lost a lot of lives. We lost about 64,000 Americans died in the Vietnam War and killed about 5.2 million Vietnamese. That's, that, that's the war Muhammad Ali didn't go to because he, he said, so why am I going to go 10,000 miles, 10,000 miles to kill a little yellow man? They haven't called me nigger, haven't hung my people, but I'm a... <laughs> so I, he, he took a rod and just got locked up, you know. Ali converted to, to, to Muslim. I guess Christianity, the Christians were, did what they, you know, said they do. And, you know, there'd be a whole lot more people than Christians in Christianity, but can't let that hold you back. Because I'm telling you now, accept Jesus Christ, your Lord, your Savior, repent of your sins, heaven's your home. It's not about a religious organization, it's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. God sent his son to come die for the sins of the world. By accepting Jesus Christ, your Lord, and say, repent of your sins, you're going to heaven. You know, you have to worry about when your eyes go to sleep for the last time, you'll be in heaven with God the Father and God the Son, man, the angels, living a, living a, a wonderful spiritual life. Because the Spirit made the physical, and not the physical, you know. So, that's one wonderful thing to do, you know, that the, the Spirit made the physical. We look at this existence, man, so... This is all we really know right now, man. This, this nature, we're breathing. I'm breathing as I'm walking. I got the camera looking at various things. Houses, vehicles that pass by. It's all so, you know, humanistic, man. So it's, it's easy to get distracted and say, well, this is it. Do what I can do here. But thank God that uh, he made a way that our eternal souls can live forever in heaven and not hell. There's some of the side homes along, along the road. People got. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I take this walk. I see on my, on my phone there, I got a call from my wife. And I got a call from Benjamin Wilson, the guy I got trying to sell the property for me. So, you know, got all that. I'm in the process of that long walk, man. That long walk. Now, I never thought I'd be doing a walk like this, really. I never thought I'd be doing a, a 3.6 mile hour walk. 3.6 mile walk. I woke up this morning, I thought I'd just take a nice shower, be nice and clean and fresh, go out my mouth real good and take care of that dentist appointment so I can keep these teeth in my head. And not have to worry about false teeth or that kind of crap, you know. Take this to my end of my days, hopefully, in the flesh. But I didn't think I'd do this walk, man. I didn't think it'd be a, a big deal. I didn't think she'd say, well, I got it early, went to the market. You shouldn't wait at the door for me. I'm, I'm upstairs dry. I'm, I'm the kind of person when I take a shower, I can't just walk outside. I'll get sick. My pores seem to uh, stay open. I'm real hairy. So I can't do that. And of course, she knows it. She's known it for years. That's my only Achilles, Achilles Hills. I can go through the whole winter and, and stay healthy and strong in the summer. But if I get wet in the wintertime, happen to go outside and don't draw, I'm looking at all kind of trouble. All kind of sickness I'm popping on me. So that's my thing there. But. I just uh, doing what I gotta do, riding around, you know, walking around. I'm someone riding around, walking. I'm so used to riding. I'm riding, I'm walking. I'm putting my, I'm putting my feet to the asphalt, trying to find a way to make it through like that. So a lot of these roads that I normally went through, I hold my camera a little, 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 hold my camera a little higher. But I tell you, it's like I'm gonna work out my arms, walking like this, but. I know, the, I know Iron Mar is somewhere in uh, Maryland or D.C. now. Big YouTuber, you know, come from Kenya. His old family YouTuber. He got, uh, he got his, uh, he got his, uh, sister, he got his uh, sister involved in, in YouTube. He got a sister involved in YouTube. Get across the street right here.
Get across that street. I don't wanna be a I wanna be a casualty. Roadkill, I want that. So I get across this street. Whew. Yes indeed. So I turn it back. I keep whirling, every time I whirl us around, take I'm I'm doing a rest in one of my big arms. You know. I guess I pray pray to God for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for great health. I know I could have been uh, gone a long time ago. 2007, I had a stress thing when they say, you know, you're worrying about finances and money and this and that. And, you know, DC implemented this thing called Imperious Water Bill. Where they charge you a water bill for your property if it's asphalt or brick or cement. So I had a big property. So they gave me three more water bills instead of having two natural water bills. So you got three more unnatural water bills. Isn't that crazy, man? Find out what's over there, do something for the water. And still, you can't drink the water. <laughs> you may cook with it, wash your car with your clothes with it, but really, you can't really just take a heap of help and drink it. You know, I'll, you know, maybe saying you've been warned. So, <laughs> we're paying all that kind of money. Taxes went up a whole lot. I just bought everything on a state sale. Nobody in the family wanted to, nobody in the family wanted to do any uh, business together, so. I did a $569,000 to purchase the property. I've been running, I've been running a store on the property for 1985. My parents bought, bought the property in 67. But, uh, you know, so I wanted to keep it. Making money to the kids were young. So I had to sell a house that I paid off early. You know, it's pretty difficult. You know, get a house with a 30, 50 year old mortgage and you pay it off in maybe 12 years. Want to make it your homestead? Then it comes a situation where you say, I got a property totally paid for, totally paid for, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put it back in the pot and take out a mortgage and get in debt again when you're totally out of debt. Young black man totally out of debt. Doing good, prosper. Put yourself back in the debt thing again. So you can get a store, that's your main source of income. So $569,000. Got that. The property was, the store property was given to my, my two brothers. My mom, the deal I made by my mom, my father passed away in 2005. And my mother told me, I had 119,000 to that, so, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. 350,000 plus 119,000. What's that? That's close to five, what, 530, 530,000? Something like that. Anyway, you know, that's the water upon that stress thing. When DC introduced those imperious water bills, they took the taxes up, even though Obama was coming to be president, they had all these crises, bank crises, insurance crises. District of Columbia took the, took the property taxes up anyway. That caused me to have that stress, that stress episode. Probably and I've been laughing at stress and saying, what is stress? And I grew up, well, when the doctor told me stress is a restriction of your veins, causing less oxygen to come to your body, boom, bam, stress is something to kill you. So it's not any little kind of thing, it's a, it's a big, big, big thing. It's a big deal. So that was that. Huh? Yeah, I think when it was 2000, what, 2019, I had some kind of breathing issue. Went in the Great Holy Cross Hospital. The first, the first place I went to when I fell out was Providence Hospital. They don't exist as hospitals anymore. They, they have just a, a, a care, maintenance care kind of thing going there now. But then it was the Great Holy Cross Hospital. So I breathing, they took all these, all these ink things going through the lungs, all these little tests. Couldn't find nothing wrong, I just kept praying to God. I got out of that place. I got out of that place, uh, you know, same night, took me like five, six hours, took all kind of tests. But I eventually got out of that place, so I was real happy. Got out of there. Lives, that's 2019. I think I had a touch of Corona 2020. I'm gonna drive my car and get so dizzy and weak. You know, every time I stopped at a stoplight, I kind of went to sleep, so I came home, I just jumped in the bed, knew something was wrong. I was breathing, I felt real weak, real tired. I feel like a rattle in my chest, like either, either building up on a, you know, a, you know, snot or mucus or whatever like that. And I was breathing, taking shorter breaths, I taking longer breaths, I was gonna hang my throat up, so. Took a, believe it or not, just took a Alka-Seltzer Cold Plus. Alka-Seltzer Cold Plus, and uh, Tylenol, extra strength. 
drunk playing the spring water. And that kind of bored me from, from that situation. That kind of bought me from, from that situation. So I was thankful about that. Now I'm going behind the scenes a little bit to a place where I used to be a long time ago. Location, places. Yeah, across that traffic because I don't want to be a statistic and smashed by cars while I'm doing this interview thing here. But all this area now is basically a. Uh, um, Central Americans live all through here now. You know, see black people. I think this is this, this was like here. Always used to be like a kind of a difference. You know, a lot, a lot of a um, um, Trinidad Tobago, Islanders, um, Jamaicans, Dominicans. Always live here now. It's basically, um, then it's basically uh, Central Americans live here now. And these these who was here walking. So a lot of that, a lot of people coming for a better life, man. I I got nothing like coming for a better life. I mean. That's the whole purpose. The pursuit of happiness, you know? Looking for a better life, you know? Get out of wherever you're going, if it's bad, come to America. I mean, regardless of what black folks that bought off from slavery back in the day, you know? 254, 255 years ago, you wanna be technically correct about it, and, and free from slavery in 1864, and not having real rights to vote in 1964. Like I said, I'm 59, so pretty much I was born. Didn't have much rights to anything, so. Yeah. But you still, people still achieve, you know, after after the uh, Reconstruction, people, people build colleges and universities and businesses and excel and got married and had wonderful families. I mean, you can always succeed. And one thing about America is a capitalist country. You can always succeed because the recipe is the same. The harder you work, the luckier you become in this great nation of ours, America. I don't care if you come out of space, you got a work effort, you can be green, purple, and blue. You were working, work effort, and you provide a product, a service, or something. Man, America is no greater place in the world for America. Like Big Kevin McHale said when he was playing for ball, Boston back in the day when Larry Bird was there, there's no greater team for a big white boy to play for than the Boston Celtics. I concur with him. I think that's absolutely true. Yeah, absolutely true. I was going to go right that little back road there, but sometimes people see you going like back roads. They don't recognize you. They don't care. I've been around here. 50 years before they ever showed up, but they don't see you in the neighborhood, so it's a different type of story. <laughs> different type of stories. I like playing over, seeing the public as I walk, doing my doing my YouTube channel page, walking in America. What's this about? So they wave and speak. I know them. all the Spanish people come to my school. Not all of them, you know. I would say maybe 70% wave and speak and converse. A lot of people don't though, they keep yourself, see the mouth set, keep moving on. This is the best of traffic right here. So, you know, we got all kinds of things going on in America. And so I'm just marching along my way. Ah, here it comes to a little doggy doggy now. Got to do a little fill of things. This is it. What can I move for? Cut to a little, cut to a little gas station. Also looking not to get ran over. Don't want to get ran over nowhere. Walking over here. Of course you see a lot of, you know, customers appearing on. Yeah. What's up? A lot of customer stuff. A lot of these people in general doing whatever they do. So, you know, that's kind of like what you expect. Occurring on. Working for them. But instead of just taking that long journey to walk home, what I do, cutting through your little places like this. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, we go. Yes, we go to make it through. Going over this little bridge thing right here. You know what it was a little bridge thing before? You know what it was a little bridge thing for? Even down the water down there. It's a bad place to drop a phone. But that was a little water. Look at that and drop the phone. That'd be horrible, man. Simply horrible. But I don't think so. I try to be pretty steady as I can. 
You not drop nothing. Now I'm over that little bridge. Still a bad place to drop something. Still. Bad place to drop something. So uh how far are we gone now? Don't really know. I've gone quite a distance with I'm not home yet, so it's still that 3.6 mile walk. 3.6 mile walk. To the areas. You know, the United States always has a lot of like areas, like kind of like park areas, man, where you could rest off and not allow nobody to build nothing. You know, you get that fresh air going around, you know? So, always gonna have that, which is good. National parks, park, park zones, we have cookouts, family can be. You know, spread out a little bit, especially people living in apartment con uh, apartment complexes and such. Get out and spread your wings, run around a little bit. I don't know why my son called me. I told him, man, I was going to walk home. I mean, dude. He said, hey, Dad, I'm coming to get you. He was saying that he focused on the phone and covered the store. So I'm like, cool. I make a decision. I'm going to walk it. That's what I'm doing. So why call me? I gotta keep tapping the phone for man. There's nothing mercy. If something wrong, if something go that wrong, the old papa gonna call you. If ain't nothing going wrong, there's no sense in me calling you. There's no sense if you keep calling me. I'm trying to do a video here. You probably realize. Dad's trying to do a video. Probably walking back from Prince George's Plaza. You never probably thought that. That guy's not gonna walk back from his Plaza. But you know, folks, I'm in my store at 85. So now the store is behind bulletproof glass. So I sell.